Do that. Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John, and in today's video, we are doing the East portion of our uh, Elite Eight Jim Beam, all things Jim Beam. And today I got Jason with me to help me with that. How you doing? And we don't know, we got blind, we got a bunch of rules. I'll tell you all about it right now. Let's get into it. All right, thanks again for checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. But Jason, thanks for coming out here. And uh, I don't want to give you any penalties or any flags because uh, I am today the referee on this. So we've gotten blind. We had the uh, wife help us out here and she grabbed two of these remaining Elite Eight uh, Jim Beams that we have. Uh, check out the other video when we narrowed down the, the Devil's Cut took out the black extra aged uh, in my little toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I had Rick here with me, and that's what happened on that. So today we're gonna narrow it down, grab two more, curious to see which they are, and um, take it from there. What do you think about this idea? I think it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is cool. So we can move these bottles out of the way. We don't know what they are. Uh, we'll find out at the end. Janice will tell us what we were drinking and who beat what in the west of the uh, Elite Eight. So we'll slide this sucker down a little bit. Okay, uh, again, I don't know what's what. I'm looking at these two colors, it's absolutely, actually I'd say one's a little darker than the other. Which one do you think is a little darker there, mister? Uh, the, the yellow. Which one, left or right? The right. Yeah. You gotta admit, the right one's a little darker. Yeah, the left one definitely looks a little lighter than the right one. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what that means exactly. In the world of Jim Beam, I haven't had a chance to think that through. Um, I mean, let's just, you know, go in. I don't know if you could be able to tell which one it is out of the remaining. But, um, I think just tasting, finding out what we got. Let's go with the blue one. Sounds good. What do you got? Oh, you don't have the nose, right? Because you have a smelling situation. I can pretend like I do. <laughs> no, it's, you can't smell, you can't smell. But. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I, guess. I, I know one thing for sure, it's not regular Jim Beam. It's definitely one of the off brands. Huh, okay. That's for sure. Is I know what Jim Beam tastes like. I drank it for 20 years. <laughs> and that ain't it. <laughs> I don't know why. Do you think it's, 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 got, it's better? Got, it's got more bite. It's so you're got, saying it's a little more flavorful than a normal Jim Beam? Absolutely. I think it's definitely more flavorful. It's got a charcoal -y, definitely a charcoal taste. You know, I taste a flamethrower, you know what I mean? Inside a pine barrel. I do too. I, I mean, I, it's so woody. Oh, it's like, whew. Right? It's like, you know, I feel like I just chewed on a piece of Kingsford. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> leave that for a little bit. I'm gonna move into the, the other one here. Give me like a second. Yeah, well, cheers anyways to that. So this one, man, this one is so smooth on the nose. Like, one thing I'm getting is that this one, as far as clues go. See, he's a cheater, he knows how to smell. Yeah. <laughs> this one's kind of toasty, but it's it has more alcohol presence. This guy, man, I'm even having a hard time tasting it. I mean, smell it. Well, give it a shot. Wow, that is like smooth as can be. Without without a doubt, that's much smoother than the first glass. Like I said, this is a very strong woody taste, and this hair has more of a fruity, sweet taste to it. Yeah. And it doesn't really have an afterburn, you know? There's like no afterburn in this at all. You know, it's like, man, it's like, you know, a lot of times I do a shot of some kind of whiskey or something, it's like, boom, you take it, and then all of a sudden, like, 30 seconds later, your shit's just like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Happen to all of us, where's your head? <laughs> yeah, this is really, this one is a, they they might both be a better quality than the regular white oh, label. The but the original, yeah. But this is, um, this is clearly uh, a little bit better, I think. Let's see. It's, so, it, it's almost like a, like a fine cognac. Yeah. It really is, with the smoothness. That's why you pay the big bucks for the cognac, because that's top shelf whiskey. That's all but, it is. Cognac is a whiskey. But it, you know, we have a signature, we have two signature ones in there, single barrel ones. 
and they're 95 proof and 108 proof. I don't think that these, this is that. <laughs> you know what I mean? This guy, I don't know. But you know, I hate to say, this one could almost be regular Jim Beam. Uh, see, you I'm think gonna, it's a little nicer than that? Yeah, let me take another shot at this, brother. <laughs> so. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, there's alcohol behind that. No, that's not what it should be. No, sir. I put the house on it. You know why I think I'm a professional that? Professional alcoholic. Because, I'm, I'm <laughs> only because it's, it's <laughs> this guy. If the regular Jim Beam tasted this good, I would say this was it. Because if this is only 80 proof. The regular Jim Beam is 80 proof. No, that that's that's Jim Beam with 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 with, with the twitch or low. Something's been something's been manipulated to change the flavor. Oh, okay, I that like is that. my opinion. Well, I've, you know, but bear in mind, I've been wrong before. I am forty eight years old. We've made a few mistakes in here. <laughs> <laughs> Can that even be real? <laughs> yeah, it's real to everybody. Trust me. <laughs> anybody that would watch this, would be like, yeah, yeah. Anybody, anybody that's over forty years old would totally understand. Well, we started with eight <laughs> Jim Beam bottles, and now we're going to be down to four after this elimination of two. So, um, I, my personal opinion, I'm saying that this yellow is the winner. For me. And I also concur. Right, that's the smoother, it's smoother, this was, it's nicer. If, if these two bottles were sitting there and they were both had free labels on them, I'd say give me that one. Yeah, this one just absolutely has just, there's a smoothness smooth. to it. Nice. I honestly, it's enjoyable. You know I, what I mean? I would say that this was a single barrel, but it's not high enough in proof. I'm gonna say that this is the double oak because it's just so smooth. You know, I, I, I'm I'm with there with there with you all the way. And I'm gonna say that this guy is the. It's, it's not the basic. It's, there's some kind of twist to it. I'm telling you. I'm going to say that this is the repeal batch. Repeal? That was the Prohibition style, Jim <laughs> Beam one. Oh, that, um, that's when they were outlawed. Yeah, that was back then. <laughs> when it actually mattered, right? Not, now you can just go to the store again. <laughs> uh, all right, well, here we go. We're going to check it out right now. Let's find out what is what. No. Here's the repeal batch. Ooh, I got that right. And I'm going to get... I got them both right. Yeah. Uh, you, you, okay, let me, let me get back. But I was right about one thing. I said, that ain't regular Jim Beam. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I, I got had that one out of my No, mind. and you know what? You kind of led me to the repeal batch because it's very similar to the regular Jim Beam. There's just a little twist got to the, it. Ah, the just, it. Yeah, and so when and I'm like thinking this is regular Jim Beam, the white, you know, the white label we're talking about, like this guy here, and, um, when you said no, no, there's something a little bit different. Then I said, okay, that's going to be the repeal batch because it's only the that's one. That's called teamwork. Buddy. Yeah, there we go. See, so. you, you, you might, you might be flying across the clouds, but I'm the one to give you a hike up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this one is my favorite Jim Beam so far. This double oak. So I'm glad it moves on. It's absolutely, I think, the smoothest one. You would think this is 80 proof. This is a 86 proof. So it's not like you know, it's not low. Hey, it's all, all I know is this. I ain't mad at it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my friend right here. See? All right, so unlike the other one where I got both of them wrong, I did get both of these right. There's the stars right there. So uh, I just knew it. I knew that this one was, I had just had, and I was afraid. I guessed this on the last one when it was a devil's cut and I was wrong about it. But uh, here we go. This is moving on. This one's moving on out. And uh, we're going to be down to the other North and South Division. And there are two single barrel select uh, series in there. Nice bottles. I don't know why they haven't been picked yet, but I'm not doing the picking. So that's that. Thanks again, Jason. Yeah, no Hope problem. you enjoyed it. Thanks again for picking everything out. And I'll catch you next time on Thicker Liquor. Go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way. Uh, or the highway. And I'm